Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. I want to talk about autism intervention from the standpoint of not bypassing some of the fundamental aspects of biomedical intervention. For those of you who, who have not heard of biomedical intervention, this is an integrative medicine approach that understands that autism, autism is more than a neurodevelopmental problem, that it's a biological problem that has a link to genetics, hereditary factors, as well as environmental exposures, and then imbalances that may be occurring within the body. Dietary intervention is really important, but it's important for most anybody who's dealing with some type of health problem. Improving the quality of food and diversity of food that individuals eat. Now we know that gluten and dairy sensitivity are quite prevalent in autism and often when we take those foods out of the diet for an individual with autism they improve oftentimes eye contact language etc and there's other food uh, imbalances that occur so we know that dietary intervention is really important but one of the things about autistic individuals is they often have a very limited diet and that's not because a parent or a caregiver isn't trying to feed them healthy is that the autistic individual themselves has sensory problems is very rigid and restrictive and so they can run a higher risk of nutritional deficiencies of various forms and the longer it goes on the more problematic it can be and so foundational supplements are very important for multivitamin multimineral antioxidants essential fats vitamin C, B-complex vitamins, these help fill in the gaps nutritionally that they may not be getting through their diet. And oftentimes, these supplements can have a profound effect on the brain and nervous system, improving attention, improving cognitive abilities, improving memory, and particularly important for young kids, again, who may be very rigid in their eating habits. The other aspect that's critically important is gut function, understanding the health of the gut. They know that many of the comorbid conditions in autism often are triggered by gut problems, constipation, for example, bloating, gas, loose stools. And then the overgrowth scenarios that happen in the gut between bacteria, candida, and as we know now, mold can also colonize the digestive system. So all of these are really key and what I consider to be fundamental or foundational for a broader biomedical approach, whether you're looking at heavy metals, whether you're looking at detoxification therapy, whether you're looking at methyl B12 or hyperbaric oxygen therapy, it's really important not to jump to those other therapies before you've addressed some of the foundational therapies because oftentimes you won't get the clinical benefit from those other therapies if you haven't addressed diet and aren't working on gut function and working on foundational supplements. And so those are always the key factors in my programs, whether I'm working with somebody local or people you know, in other countries, these same principles hold true no matter who you are, okay? So again, and this is what I mean by not skipping over the fundamentals, okay? There's, there's a tendency sometimes to, to wanna, you know, jump at a therapy because it seems attractive online or because somebody else saw benefit from it. Um, but again, the, the fundamentals, the foundations of health still hold true. And often when you work on those, these other therapies um, are often more effective. So again, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. Thank you.